Okay, so let's let's solve this question here and say uh, use the graph, I mean this graph here to solve the following inequality. So look here, man. Excuse me. So look means when you take n fx and gfx, when you're gonna have something greater than zero. We know we did this grade three, four, five, grade six. When you have a positive and positive, you get positive. If you have a negative and negative, you get also positive. So we know that, right? But what is positive meaning? So if you have something greater than zero, greater than zero meaning positive. Greater than zero means positive, greater than zero means positive. So for us to get positive or anything something greater than zero, meaning this has to be positive and this has to be positive. Or in other words, we say f of x has to be greater or equal to zero. And then even g of x also, it has to be greater or equal to zero. That's the other way of saying g times x equal to zero. Or, or you could say f of x will be less or equal to zero means when it's negative and also g of x also will be less or equal to zero means both of them are negative and negative still going to give us positive so now let's solve in two cases right let's start with the phase k the phase k they say when f of x and g of x both of them are greater than zero what, what you mean say greater? all right so we say okay so uh <coughs> excuse me so now we say Let's work phase for the f of, uh, f of x greater than zero and the g of x greater than zero. So it's okay. What does that mean? We want to see when the function of f in, and g of x is greater than zero. So let's see what that means. Okay. When you say greater than zero, meaning above x axis. Because look, man, if you have a, let's say this is a parabola. So this, anything above here, see what I'm saying? This one here, excuse me. This above means this is when y is greater or equal to zero from here. Greater or equal means from here. But when you say y is greater than zero means you don't need include this. Uh, it means it has to be not including zero. It means from 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Uh, uh. So now for this case here, excuse me. So, second razor here, quick. Excuse me. So we say... We want to see where we have fx and gfx where they're both greater than zero. So, this, that's what I highlight here. Look, see, this is g of x and this is f of x. So, both of them, greater than zero means you look, okay, means above x axis. So, this part, that's what I highlight. Both of them means here is where they're both above x axis. So, where do they start from? One to five. Both mean like intersection of both from one to five. So we're gonna say okay, so for the first part here, for f of x greater or equal to zero and g of x greater or equal to zero, the value of x is from one including negative one, less or equal, because to five, we saw between one and five. Say so x to five positive. So this is for the first part. Let's say for the second part, okay? So f of x less or equal to zero and g of x less or equal to zero. So we want to see where uh, g of x and f of x are below x axis. Where are they below f of x and g of x together? They're below x axis here. Look, we have a f of x and this is g of x, but both of them here, they're below x axis, both of them here. So we're going to say, okay, from five to the positive infinity. So I'm saying both of them, they are below x axis. Look. This is my f and this is my parabola. But both of them, they are below x-axis. You see here, this is below x-axis and this also, the, I mean, this parabola below x-axis and this line below x-axis here, this point. But from where? From 5 to, because this, this graph is going to continue all the way. So from 5 to positive thing. So the value of x, when f of x less than 0, g of x and g of x is less than 0, meaning the value of x, we're going to say x has to be we are equal to 5. So if you have to put this together, I mean the two of them, let's combine them together. So if you have to combine together, we want to say, okay, let's combine them together. So they, our answer we're going to have is going to start from negative 1 to 5 and from 5 to positive infinity. So we want to say, okay, look here, man. So it's negative 1 less than x less than 5 and then Look, x is greater equal to 5. So together, if you had to put this together, that's going to be, same as say, negative 1, <laughs> x to positive infinity, to positive infinity. 
excuse me. So unfortunately, infinity, you don't say including infinity, never include infinity. So the positive infinity. Okay, so so we say these are as or these are set good notation. So if you set good notation, say x are elements of real number, x are elements of real number, whereby this x it has to be from negative one to positive infinity. But if you want to write in in type of notation, you could have say negative one to positive infinity. And negative one is including, but a positive infinity is excluding. They say x are elements of x are elements from negative one to positive infinity. So this is going to be our answer. If you have any question, please uh, let me know. If you don't understand, you want me to make more video, please let me know. Thank you for your time. I appreciate man. This is Channel Battle Academy. And make sure you share, you subscribe. Channel Battle Academy. You share, you subscribe, and click that like button. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.